to all of you, thank you for coming here. We intentionally opened this up to the entire world. I want you to know that as of five minutes ago, 1,000 people are signed up to participate in this event. That one with three zeros. As of 10 minutes ago, I think we just got the last 30 registering at this desk here. So this is going to be a massive event bringing together people from all around the world. You are participating and competing with people from Stanford, MIT, Harvard, Yale, a lot of the colleges in the US, and a lot of colleges in India. So this is going to be very exciting, and it's going to be a week-long event for you to build open source AI projects in education. Now there's a lot we could spend time on on this topic, but I don't want to because we have amazing speakers here for you tonight and I will introduce briefly to talk to you about why AI is so important in education and why we're doing this event the way we're doing it. We're just very excited to bring you all together and uh, we're going to spend the next few moments talking to you about the instructions and the plan. If you have any questions, Please feel free to find us afterwards in person, or you can send us an email at team at opened.ai and we'll put this up. We also have a Slack channel. Who's, who's not on the Slack channel? Raise your hand. Okay, so those of you who are not on it, when you get to the slides, the Slack details, I want you to pay special attention. There's some exciting news for you. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to open up by talking about what you can solve in this hackathon. The exciting news for you is you can solve any problem that you want to solve in education. The list behind me is just a, a subset of those problems. So for example, if you want to build AI tutors that automatically answer questions that they've never seen before, you can do that. If you want to build personalization software that personalizes content or the delivery of that content, you can do that. Any education problem you want to solve, you can solve. So on our website and on this deck, which we will upload these are the challenge problems, you hear from IBM tomorrow. They will be presenting specific challenge problems from their side that they have been seeing working on Watson. Our, uh, our two guests from OMIDIAR Network will be presenting a few problems in education that remain unsolved. We're very excited to have this event because AI, for the first time, provides us the ability to solve the problem of scale while solving the problem of quality in education. And we learn more about that over the, the sessions. But any problem you want. Is that part clear? It works on data sets, which means scrape your web to public sources and put something out there that will be translated for other people building the AI software on top of the You can also write how to articles, the technical articles. Nikki and I, we can tell you a story some other time, but we, we started building this when we you know, were students at Harvard. We were trying to do AI development on our own. And we found that the open source community was incredibly incredibly valuable in getting started with the AI the AI language learning apps. And uh, that's why with this hack we're allowing you to store on something that's not been stored because stored is only one piece of it. You will find yourself when you go on our website, you'll see data sets, you'll see the resources that we have curated and published a lot for you. That you can feel free to leverage. And you can also create it and submit it and still win the prizes in this hack -a So it's a very special hack -a you don't have to submit code. You can submit data sets, tutorials, and so on. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to see so many of you there. Um, and I hope you're excited to start working on your project. So, at the end of the week, um, we hope you have built something really cool, created a really cool data set, you've written a really, really awesome tutorial. Um, and you'll have to submit your project to be able to win one of the amazing prizes you have. We'll need you to submit a link to a GitHub URL. So uh, we want you to put your project on GitHub and contribute to the open source community. So you need to uh, put your project on GitHub, send us that link. We also want you to explain what are the problems in education that your project is solving and why is it important for education and how will it help. We also want you to make a video. This is optional, but I recommend it. A two minute video which demos your project and you can talk through what you've done and um, how your project works. Um, we also have, you can also um, enter the names of your teammates. If you work for a team, this is optional, you can work by yourself, you can work with up to three other people. Um, and this uh, submission form will be ready at the end of the week. The deadline is Friday, 4th of August at 5 pm. We'll send out all the details in it. After you've submitted, uh, we'll be looking through all the projects um, over the weekend. We're really excited to see the things that you'll, you've been building. Um, and we'll be looking at the projects on, on several different criteria. Uh, in particular, we're really excited uh, to look at the tech 
neural abstract. So if you build a neural network, you want to see what's the architecture that you need, what the design decisions that you've made. If you create the data set, you want to see how you create the data set, what are the fields, how you cleaned it, why is it why is it useful? Um, and we'll also be looking at other things. If you built a mobile app, we want to see um, usability, we want to uh, see how it works, um, and we want you to be able to explain this. We also have a panel of amazing judges who are helping us with evaluating your project. So we reached out to the experts in the field, so professors at Harvard, professors at MIT, we have um, people who work in deep learning at Google, and people who created huge open source projects like Terra, which I think has over 10,000 stars on GitHub. And these are the people that will be looking at your project and the things that you create during this week. We're handing over to Shreya, who's going to tell you about the price prizes and credits that we have. Okay, thanks again. So, uh, AI, AI in general is pretty interesting. Like, tech is all over. This is tech, this is not intelligent. So, that's what we're here for to make this intelligent, and nothing goes beyond the worst. So, it's in the same order as you can read uh, on the slide. $6,000 from over there, so big round of applause for them. Thank you, that's a great, 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 great. We've got some other sponsors as well, so as you can see, we've got IDN at 3000 that's also a great amount, so we really want all of you to pitch in for and uh, make sure you have some great products now. Then uh, you've got credits for, from AWS and Google Cloud credits for 5K and 3K, that's going to be third and fourth price. But that's for the winning people. So the, even the teams which do not win, it's not like you don't get anything out. So yeah, as I was saying, so you've got some more credits which are available for all the participants in here. So you've got uh, 1200 Lumix Watson from IBM, uh, Google Cloud credits for $300 for everyone, then AWS for $100, and finally DigitalOcean for all of them. So I'm going to hand it over back to Anshul. Thank you. But everybody's a winner. Everybody's aware of this icon. So I'm going to spend a few moments going through the schedule. You will also see when you go outside, we have a poster with, with the breakdown. Today, we have this talk for a few minutes a day to try to catch up. Uh, we have a talk by Menu Network. I'll introduce that team very briefly. This one is going to be about what are the unsolved problems in education? What are the opportunities specifically for AI in education? And it will be a very interactive session. And then 7 30, 8 30, those of you who came early, you heard me describe this multiple times because we, the organizing team, have been through a lot of hackathons. It's been incredibly fun. And one of the most fun things about hackathons is you get to meet other people that you may not know. I asked you to raise your hand at the beginning because I wanted you to see who else is in this room. People from the same institute that you may not have seen before, people from other institutes. And it's not just the computer scientists, it's incredible value in the different mindsets and different skills that people bring. And this session we potentially done it on this day at the start of the hackathon. And it's something that only you the in-person participants would get. I highly encourage you to try it. Because this is a chance for you to put yourself out there, be a little vulnerable, come up here, it's not that hard, and just say anything about who you are, what your idea is, and who you're looking for on the team. And again, we're doing this because we've seen it done at Hack MIT, Hack Harvard, the ones we participated in. It's very effective, so we're gonna line you up, please. As you watch the session, start thinking about what ideas you want, who you want to work with. It's a tremendous value in working with smart people. The point of this hackathon is to break down those geographical barriers, those other institutional barriers that might exist to work together, collaborate across campuses, and build also things solving for problems. So that's Friday. I'll go through Saturday faster because it's not till tomorrow. Morning, there's a session by IBM, there's a breakfast, and then there's a two hour session on Watson. There's then a TensorFlow workshop, which is a four hour workshop for three to four hours run by uh, developers of Google. If you guys don't know what TensorFlow is, it's a machine learning platform that allows you to get started very uh, easily building neural networks layer by layer and doing a lot of other things as well. In the evening, we have a keynote session by your director, and for those of you from my academy, Professor Rao will be introducing Mr. Amitabh Khan, who is the CEO of the EIO, and he will be doing a talk on his very high level government view of the really important problems in education. He'll be presenting a few data talks to you, and he will talk about his belief in the importance of AI in the digital platform government and open data specifically. You heard me talk about the importance of openness and data sets, and we talked about the role of that in the 
and someday we have a contest. This is a data science contest. Who's done data science before? Analysis of big data sets. Turns out in education, there's a lot of data that's really large. So NCPR or someone has put something out there that's hard to analyze because it's complex or the computational resources to analyze and don't exist. This would be a, a contest that takes a real education data set, which I won't announce yet, and all of you will get a chance to analyze it and extract the data insights that aren't obvious from just looking at the real world. All right. Uh, this is for all of you that haven't joined Slack yet. In addition, for those of you that have, we have gotten mentors from each of these institutions to come on board. These are technical people, experts respectively in TensorFlow uh, and Google Cloud, experts from Watson, experts from all the Amazon stuff out there, AWS, X, Recognition, API, and the, the chief data scientist, the resident data scientist from Access Partners in uh, On board to answer your questions, we created separate channels by firm, and you can just ask your questions there, and they will do their best there in different time zones, they do their best to all. Okay, and again, this is uh, once again a thank you for not just the video that's us here, as well as to all our responses that you will be meeting many of them over the next few days that are providing either the resources that you're using online, whether it's the prices or just the support in terms of the manpower that you see here. I do thank you for my opinion as well for hosting us. So that's all from our side. Give a round of applause please to our sponsor. If you have questions, you know where to find us on Slack, email, or in person at today's event.